Hey there, sports photographers. In this field, there's not much more satisfying than nailing that great peak action photo. However, do you know what's just as satisfying? Capturing emotion. So let's gear up and let's get to it. Hey there again, everybody. I am Jerry Lai and welcome back to my sports photography channel. For those of you joining me for the first time, I currently serve as the Director of Content at USA Today Sports, and I've been a photojournalist and photo editor in the field for nearly 16 years. And my goal is I want to make you a better sports photographer. If you think that I could help you, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. In August, I did a video titled The Three Golden Rules of Sports Photography, sharing tips as to what makes a great action photo. And like I said, when everything lines up perfectly for a portfolio worthy or even award winning shot, we as sports photographers get tremendous satisfaction out of that. But sports photography is not just about the action on the field, it's about the highs and lows of the game as well as the roller coaster of emotions. And to become a complete sports photographer, you have to know how to capture this emotion. So today, I'm gonna to give you two great tips on how to put yourself in the right place and in the right frame of mind to capture emotion. Just like with sports action, in order to capture emotion properly, you have to know the game. Specifically, you have to know how players are gonna react in certain situations in a game. This ranges from super obvious events like celebrating walk-off wins and championships, to the day-to-day -day events like scoring runs in baseball, touchdowns in football, and scoring goals in hockey, etc, etc. However, sometimes reactions will come in very specific situations. Picture this scenario. Close game. Two strikes. Two outs. The pitch. The swing. Ball in the air, but it looks like it's going to be caught. Do you just follow the play through and end up with an ordinary fly ball picture? Or do you think about spinning back towards the pitcher and seeing how they react to the play? That's right, you spun back to the pitcher and he gave you a massive fist pump and roar. The point is, sometimes you are virtually guaranteed to get a great celebration photo, but other times you need to put yourself in the most likely spot to capture this great reaction photo. Which is actually a great segue to my second tip. Besides just knowing the game and the situation, sometimes it helps to know the players. Some players have traditions and superstitions. For example, there was a Cubs pitcher in the 2000s named Carlos Zambrano, and he would point to the sky after every inning. It didn't always make for an award-winning photo, but it was always there if you wanted or needed it. Other times, it's the entire team or part of the team that has a tradition. For example, in baseball, after a win, a lot of times the players will have a special dance or handshake. Or in football, some teams have a tradition where they sing or salute their fans after a win. Know the team traditions and make sure you put yourself in the position to best capture these celebrations. Now let's not forget about individuals as well. Some players are extremely emotional and don't show much effort into hiding how they're feeling out on the field you can get a lot of great reaction photos just by keeping an eye out on them. And let's not forget, sometimes the most powerful or interesting photos can come in times of defeat and frustration as well. So anyways, that was my quick video about capturing emotions in sports. While photographing peak action is probably the bulk of what you will learn or hear about when it comes to sports photography, Capturing emotion is critical in becoming a very well-rounded sports photographer. A lot of times, these are the photos that you see end up being on the cover of whatever publication you're working for. Or perhaps just as importantly, if you're a youth or high school photographer, they become important snapshots in time of a great moment for these athletes. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button commented, or subscribed. It really helps out this channel more than you know. Anyways, as always, if you have the time, definitely stick around and check out some of the other videos on my channel. 
such as the aforementioned three golden rules of sports photography video that I posted in August. Thanks again for watching and tuning in today. I can't wait to see you all again next time. Stay safe and until next time. Bye now.